Okay, so I want to show you how to make the coils and how to texture your brain coral. So you just want to take another color, a different color than your original color, something that's going to show well. So it might be light versus dark or complementary colors, but just something that's going to stand out. And if you just take little pieces at a time, and if you roll on top of a piece of paper, like, you know, one of the calendars in your sketchbooks, like an old calendar, and you just kind of start rolling it, you wanna roll out a bunch of really thin coils. When it starts to get a little bit thinner, I switch from using my whole hand to just using a finger, and I look for the parts that look a little bit thicker than the other areas, and try to just make it as even as I can. And I'll go back and forth from one side to the other, la 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 la, until it's the, you know, an even thickness all the way across and, you know, pretty long. Okay. So once you have these, the next step is you're going to start adding them onto your brain. Now you can see here that some of the, um, orange on this one shows through and I want that and you want it to be all weird and squiggly. Okay. So you're just kind of making so brain stuff. Now you can have a couple little swirls if you want. So I'm going to start with that. I am going to put my coil on here and I'm just going to leave a small gap. You don't want like a big gap, just a small gap. If you shove it right up against itself, then when you go to do the texturing, it's going to um, cover up all of the orange and that's just, it's just not quite as nice. So you can see I've got my swirl going and now I'm going to start doing some other little funky shapes and if there's the occasional spot where it touches that's okay but our main thing is you want it to be really super squiggly right so once you get to the end of your coil just kind of gently push it on there to make sure that it's stuck real good and then just keep adding more and more stuff on and you want to be able to go in different directions. So sometimes you're going to um, go, you know, this way. Sometimes you're going to go that way. That's totally fine. But the main thing is, is you are going to try to cover the entire part with the coil, right? So you're going to cover this whole thing with coil. Let me just finish this a little bit off here. Okay, and like I said, you can have more than one swirl if that's what you really like, but your main goal here is to get the whole thing covered. Once you have the whole thing covered, you can either use that tool we used on the, um, the other coral that you made the other day. Um, you can use the back end of this one. You could use a dull pencil if you have, you know, the back end of a paintbrush. This one's got a little thingy on it. I happen to have this tool, but like I said, we made basically this exact tool in one of the previous uh, videos. So then to make all that really cool texture, which really, really makes it look super awesome, that's the key to this thing. This looks like, you know, oh, it's a C. The texturing is what makes it look like an A. So you just take your tool and in between the two you know, layers, you just start pushing your tool in there. And as long as they're close enough that you can hit both sides with your tool and, you know, far enough away that you can still see some of the green, that's what you want, right? And you're just going to go through it and start poking this tool in there to give the texture. So you can see how that changes the way it looks and you know, you want to go all the way around and do all of the different areas. And by doing that and having really, really, really thin coils, um, you can make it look really, really fancy um, fairly easily. All right. Thanks, everybody.